The AGD640 Advanced Digital Vision Detector is designed for the monitoring of pedestrians who are waiting to cross the road and to maximize pedestrian safety in local crossing strategies. Before proceeding to site, installers should ensure that they are familiar with the installation documentation, the AGD640 configuration and connection, and that they have downloaded the dedicated AGD640 Livewire toolkit. Power and suitable mounting hardware should be available on site. Installers should also be equipped with a live wire serial cable or Bluetooth option to communicate to the detector from their laptop or notebook. The AGD640 live wire toolkit does not support communication to the detector via a PDA. The detector should be mounted on a suitable bracket at a height of 3 to 4 meters with a clear view of the pedestrian weight area from both lenses. This view should not be impeded by the traffic signal head, associated bracketry or overhanging foliage. Any obstruction should be removed or the detector repositioned. For optimum detection performance, the detector should be carefully angled so that the markings on the housing are directly aligned with the vertical face of the mounting foot. The fixing nut should be securely tightened. Connect the detector to power, at which point the detector will flash a number of times with a red LED. The Azurio Bluetooth dongle is recommended for optimum wireless connectivity. When using the Bluetooth option, Livewire will search for all locally installed detectors which can then be selected or named individually. The range of Bluetooth connectivity will depend on the topography of the local site. The blue LED will illuminate on the chosen detector to acknowledge the connection. Follow carefully steps 1 to 9 of the setup guide to allow optimum configuration of the detection zone. In enhanced mode, where there is good shadow rejection performance, the maximum recommended zone size is 3 meters by 2 meters. For zones larger than this, users can select standard operating mode which is optimized for this purpose. AGD recommend deployment of two AGD 640s for use on wider Toucan crossings. Installers will be warned when the set zone has exceeded the recommended size for enhanced operation. The zone can be set up in a few minutes and an additional feature allows the user to edit zone blocks or specially configure the zone to exclude or include certain areas. The walk test will confirm the boundaries of the set zone and in this mode, the zone will illuminate in red at the onset of pedestrian detection. Further adjustment of the zone can be achieved by revisiting the earlier steps. It is also possible via the Tools menu to view the detect blocks during the walk test. Once the zone has been set, users should proceed to step 6, recalibrate cameras. The zone should be clear of pedestrians for the first 10 seconds of this process, which will take 1 to 2 minutes. Maintenance of the AGD640 is important in that this detector is a vision product. Periodic cleaning of the lens windows with a lint-free cloth will ensure that a clear view of the zone is maintained. The security of all cable fixings should also be routinely checked. Engineers requiring further assistance on the AGD640 setup should contact AGD Systems for appropriate technical support, access the help facility or consult the AGD640 Frequently Asked Questions on the AGD website.